Do you want to know how to grow big onion bulbs, but you don't know where to start? You came to the right place, because in this video I will show you how I grew over 100 big onions in just 12 square feet, with the help of the square foot gardening method. And if you follow me until the end, you will see what soil mix is the best for growing big onion bulbs. This year, when I'm building my small garden, I decided to use different soil mixtures in different parts of the garden to see what difference it makes when growing different vegetables in them. And because I used the square foot gardening method, I wanted to know if the so-called melts mix deliver when it promises. If you watch my previous soil test on choosing the best soil for growing potatoes in grow bags, you know that it showed promise at first, but didn't deliver in the end. But will the square foot gardening mix do better now when we are growing onions in it and will deliver big heavy onion bulbs? Let's find out. If you'd like to see more tests like this, please let me know by leaving a like. And if you aren't already subscribed, please do it now so you won't miss any future tests from me. So without further ado, let's dig into the main content. As I mentioned for this test, I use two different soil mixes. One is a simple mix of topsoil and compost in a one by one ratio, covered with a thick layer of mulch to prevent weeds from germinating and to keep the soil nicely soft and moist. It showed a lot of promise in the potato test, so I was hoping it will deliver also in this test. The other soil mix is one that is recommended by the square foot gardening method, the Mels mix. This mix is composed with one third of peat moss, one third of vermiculite and one third of compost. With this mixture you will have all the nutrients your onions will need without compromising the compactness of the soil. Yes, it costs a little bit more, but by feel it's fluffier and it looks like it won't get compacted that much over time. Preparing the beds for planting was easy. With the topsoil and compost mix, I just uncovered the mulch to uncover the soil underneath it. It was quite a thick layer, so I removed some wood chips after planting. And with the square foot gardening mix, because I already prepared the raised bed in the spring, I only had to mark the squares that will serve as a planting guide. So, if you want to have the biggest onions in the same year, you need to start them with onion sets. These are small onions that were started from seeds the previous year and didn't grow to their final size. Instead they were stopped in their growth so you can continue it. Onions grown from seeds take 14 weeks to maturity, so if you want to squeeze two growing cycles in the same season, you can plant your onion seeds up to 4 weeks before the last frost date. But if you do that, cover it with a fleece cover to keep them warm in the cold spring nights. In that way your onions will germinate faster and will have an advantage in the growing season. But if you don't want to take the risk, you can still plant them later on. If you want to follow the square foot gardening method like I am, plant your onion sets 9 per square foot. With this square foot gardening spacing, you will have enough space to grow big bulbs without using too much space in your garden. I am doing my spacing by eyeballing it, but if you want you can use a square foot gardening layout template. I made a video on how to do it. Or you can buy one. I will leave both links down in the video description. When placing the onion bulbs in the holes, remember to put them in the right position. This part of the bulb, where the roots will grow, needs to be turned down. You can hold it by the top side and push it into the hole. After placing them into the holes, just lightly cover them with the soil mix and with some light mulch to retain moisture and warmth in the soil. And then we wait for 14 weeks or so. In the meantime, as we wait, you can comment down below how many onions per person are you growing? And while you're there, hit that like button if you find value in this video. 
A good indicator that your onions are ready to be harvested is their posture. If your onions are all folded like mine and the junction between the stem and the bulb is dry, they are ready to be picked. And picking is easy. Simply grab the onion by its neck and gently twist it while pulling it out. That's simple. And if your soil is nice and dry, like it should be, your onions will come right out. As you can see the bulb grown in the square foot gardening mix are nice, round and quite big. The soil mix is not sticking to the bulb and the root system is nice and developed. If you followed my 10 mistake video last year, you would know that one of the mistakes were the onions. But I'm so happy that this year I grow them that nice. So smash that like button if this is also your first successful year growing onions. Also, the onions grow in the topsoil and compost mix were nice and big, but some of them were a little bit smaller. And I can't wait what the weight test will tell. Coming up. I don't know if you can see it, but this year I decided to grow some shallots and yellow onions. So some of them are smaller and of a different shape, just because they are from a different onion variety. But no worries, I planted the same amount of each variety in both soil mixes, so the test won't be affected by it. When harvesting, I didn't notice any major difference in the compactness of the soil mixes. Both were nice and loose and the onions popped right out, without leaving much soil stuck on the onion bulbs. This is very important because it will allow a much quicker drying time of the onion bulbs. Also in both soil mixes were hardly any onions that didn't make it. So for the 108 onion bulbs I harvest, if I recall correctly, 106 bulbs and they took me only 12 square feet of space. One tip when harvesting is that you do it in the morning, on a sunny day if possible. To have the maximum amount of sun hours before the night, so that your onion bulbs will have plenty of time to dry a little bit. To dry your onions, you will need plenty of airflow, passing through the onion stems, and a place protected from the rain. For that, I use an old pellet top that has an ideal spacing between the wooden planks to hold the onions in place. I just pass the stem of the onion through the opening. This will place the onion bulb on the top and will let the onion stem hanging at the bottom without preventing the airflow passing through. After a week or two, depending on the weather, check if your onions are dried. The stem should be nice and brown without much green on them. A little bit is okay, but know that if there's still a little bit of green, you should continue to dry them in a well-ventilated dry area until the stems are bone dry. So the next step when they are dried is to cut off all the stems from the onions and place it in a crate to store them for later use. Here's very important to leave around 2 inches of the stem still on the bulb, otherwise you're risking that the onions we wrote in storage. To cut the dry stems, it's best that you use some garden shears instead of garden pruners. They will cut the soft stems more nicely. I will leave a link in the video description for them and for all the other supplies that you will possibly need to grow onions with a square foot gardening method. And now, the moment of truth. What is the best soil mix for onions? Or in other words, in which soil mix I grew bigger onion bulbs. Here is all the harvest from the 12 square feet of my garden. So the top two rows plus the far right onions on the third row are the one from the square foot gardening mix. On the left are all the shallots and on the right are all the yellow onions. And on the third and fourth row are all the onions from the soil mix of topsoil and compost. As you can see the onions from the square foot garden mix are nice and big and they are all the same size. On the other hand, the onions from the compost and topsoil mix were not so homogeneous. 
Some of them were bigger, some of them were smaller. So if you ask me, we have a clear winner here. If you have the will and money, invest in some good quality square foot gardening mix for your onions. They will grow more uniformly in the soft soil mix and will have overall bigger bulbs. On the other hand, if you only have topsoil and compost on hand, don't worry, your onions will grow just fine. Maybe some of them won't grow to their full potential, but some will. And I'm sure that they will also put a big smile on your face. Now, if you'd like to know what is the best soil to grow potatoes in containers or grow bags, I'm inviting you to check the video that popped on the screen. On it you can see a test on how will the potatoes grow in 5 different soil mixes. I hope you find value in this video and if you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel to see more tests and other garden related content. Happy gardening!